a guess who's back like she never left me so today i have a hair care haul and i am relaxed so um there's that but my natural hair texture is like a 4b 4c mm, you know um and i have medium to high porosity hair so i'm at this now where i want to grow my hair out um so i thought um, i'd pick up some products to help me start this journey and maintain healthy hair um, and also help me retain length so I want to jump right into it otherwise I'll babble on forever so the first product is a shampoo by cream of nature which is very, very popular everyone's seen me this one this one's quite popular um, mainly because it's so moisturizing it's the um, argan oil sulfate free moisture and shine shampoo um, I was gonna get the matching conditioner um, but I don't love it i've been using this for some time but i don't love it love it so i just thought i just leave it out and just use the conditioners that i'm currently loving and then i also picked up this shampoo by afro g this is a shampoo for damaged hair and it says it's uh, it gently cleanses restores shine helps strengthen hair and normalize the ph balance of your hair so it just looks like this i've got all the labels on it still but who can be up to pick those off that me I feel like this is more of a moisturising shampoo and this is more of a, I want to say protein based shampoo but it's like mixed with moisture and protein except it's just for strength so I just find it's mainly for strength that's why I call it a um, protein shampoo but yeah I'm kind of excited to try this out I'm hoping it will do wonders for my hair so that's that. So I also wanted to um, restock up on my replenishing conditioner for after my relaxers so this is the one I picked up and sometimes I use this when I'm like even when I'm not when I haven't had a relaxed day I don't know if that makes any sense this is just the olive oil replenishing conditioner this is like a, a light for me it's like a, a light to medium protein and it's very moisturizing as well so I like that then I also picked up the balancing moisturizer by FOG this is what I would use after, this is the one you use after the two-step protein treatment, I believe. When I feel like my hair needs um, a, a balance, then I'll just use this because sometimes I don't know what my hair needs and I don't want to lack in protein, I don't want to lack in moisture, so it's just like, sometimes I just do like a little cocktail, con conditioner cocktail mix and I'll just put that in my hair. So yeah, I really like this for that. Um, yeah. You can kind of call me a products junkie. I mean, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I don't need all these products, but I don't care. <laughs> I picked up four deep conditioners. Okay, well, in my opinion, four deep, four deep conditioners. Um, so I picked up the Dr. Miracle's Double Deep Moisturizing Mask. And I love this for when I have new growth. And I also love the Beautiful Textures Rapid Repair Deep Conditioner for when I have new growth. So these two I tend to use when I have like severe new growth so I can keep my roots soft so that my hair doesn't break off at the line of demarcation. Um, yeah, so I love these. So the next two deep conditioners are, well, one I just wanted to try and that's um, the Coconut Cream Restorative, yeah, Restorative Conditioner by Africa's Best. And it just looks like this. Um, I just wanted to try it out and I'm hoping for good things because it was the last one on the shelf. It says 100% coconut milk, avocado, grapeseed and flaxseed oils. So I'm hoping it's going to be really good. Wow, it smells like Baileys. <laughs> if you've ever had Baileys, um, yeah, it smells exactly like that, which I do like. So this conditioner is also by Africa's Best and it's the hair mayonnaise treatment for weak damaged hair this one's very like yeah this is a protein treatment as well i, I could use this one every week my hair really likes protein that's why i tend to buy a lot like protein um protein based products protein is very important for me especially because i'm relaxed as well so yeah and i feel like i've tried the one by ors but i feel like this one penetrates my hair better. I don't know, I think it's just the texture because of the difference in texture. This one's a lot more runny in texture, oh my gosh. And I used to use this when I was in school as well. And my hair was so nice, oh my God. Every week or every two weeks, I would use this in my hair when I was in school. Before I move on to styling products, I just wanted to mention this because I also picked this up to help cleanse my scalp because I do 
tend to suffer from scalp psoriasis from time to time because I do use this to help cleanse my scalp um, with a shampoo. The apple cider vinegar from Bragg's. Um, it's the one with the mother in it, of course. And yeah, it looks like this. The scent is really strong, but I've gotten used to it over time. And plus it helps so much with my psoriasis. So um, yeah, I, I can't stray from it really, even if I wanted to. I feel like it just it helps to remove any build up from my scalp and re relieve any itchiness or tenderness on my scalp. So I love using it for that main for that reason mainly. Oh my gosh, I'm not making any sense. I feel like my words are not coming out as smoothly as they could. But anyway, I literally make this purchase every single time I'm about to run out of this leave-in and it's the Afoji Keratin and Green Team Reconstruct it's Afoji's keratin and green tea green tea restructurizer it looks like this this one I really like this one is also obviously it says keratin so it's got um, it's a protein based leave-in I like it because it's very lightweight so um, it doesn't weigh my hair down not that I ever straighten my hair or anything but I do like my hair to have like that fluffy look like I never really straighten my hair anyway but I do like it when it's like fluffy and light and you know strong and then to moisturize my hair I wanted a thicker moisturizer but not one that weighed my hair down too much so I picked up the olive oil mango butter by Elasta QP and this is the moisturizer lotion if you get the one in the tub I feel like that one's thicker which I don't mind especially if I'm wearing if I plan on wearing like wigs or um, well, do any type of protective styling and it smells so amazing like the smell, oh my goodness. It's thicker than my other moisturizers, so that's why I mainly picked it up. I wanted something thicker for this um, time of year. I was looking for a new um, edge control, but I didn't want anything that was too thick to the point where I couldn't like really distribute a, just blah, blah, blah. I didn't want anything too thick to the point where I couldn't distribute it on my hair like evenly. So I found this, this is called the Styling Wax by Gummy. And this one is a, the pink tub. There was a blue tub and there was a red tub. Um, this one is extra gloss, extra glaze. So this one's, it feels like almost like water when you like pick up the product. It's like, it's so refreshing. And then when you put it on your hair, it glides in so nicely. I feel like this would be amazing, especially when you have um, freshly relaxed hair. Girl. Um, but I do want to try, there was an extra hold one. I do want to try the other ones as well though. Um, I might pick those up. Maybe I see because I don't want anything of an extremely tough hold. Like this one's still quite moisturizing. Like I can, I'll be happy, more than happy to use this. Like the day after wash day, like I'll be more than happy. I feel like it'll be okay to use until um, my next wash day. I feel like it'll be fine. It won't build up in my hair too much. Um, I get that feeling from it anyway because I've used a little bit of it today. And it smells divine. It smells like grapes. It looks just like that inside. You can see I've used a little bit use some from the edges already but it's so nice it's just so easy to uh, apply it's easy to like use like uh, I don't even know if I'm making any sense right now so the last product I want to talk about is by Mega Growth and it's the daily leave-in strengthener now I wanted something to put underneath my moisturizers and um, yeah I feel like <laughs> I've got a lot of protein products but my hair loves it so and that's I feel like that's one of the main key the main keys to obviously having healthy hair um, is to balance moisture and protein anyway so I feel like I'll be fine I'll be fine so it's not excessive I feel like it's not excessive it's not excessive for me the pink Starburst if you like Starburst <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I did that, I'm so weird. But yeah, if you like Starburst, you'll, you'll love this. you love the smell of this. But yeah, I'm so excited to actually use this, especially under like protective styles, to keep the strength there, to like avoid like as much breakage and maybe shedding. Well, shedding is gonna happen anyway, but um, yeah, just to minimize how much breakage I get after taking out or taking down a protective style so that's all for this video i hope you've seen some products that you might want to try yourself thank you for watching this video um i hope you've taken some information from this i'm not sure if it was that informative i hope i was somewhat informative thank you so much for watching 
Um, don't forget to like this video if you did like this video. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more hair videos or hair and beauty and fashion related videos. So, um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.